welcome to shivkumar classes now the topic which i am covering is sales book under subsidiary book already i have uploaded the uh, purchase book under the subsidiary book in my previous video let me provide the link to see that one for the continuation of the purchase book and also the sales book now this is the common topic for class 11 or first pc or plus 1 and bba and BCA. Yes. Under the sales book, we will record only the credit transaction and we will not record any cash transaction and also the purchase of any asset because uh, in this subsidiary books, in the subsidiary books, we will record only the uh, credit transaction. Any cash transactions will appear it is into the cash book. Right. Next. How to know that it is whether it is the credit purchase or credit sales? The easy way is that whenever a name of any person is given, it is an indication that goods is purchased only for credit. And if it is for cash means that they need to mention the cash whenever the name is given or whenever the name is not given, it is 100% confirmation that it is the cash purchase. Now, problems on first problems on sales book February 22nd, that is 1st of February 22nd, sold goods to Mohan 75,000. This is credit per sales. On second, sold goods to Vignesh for cash. This won't appear because it is the cash transaction. And next coming to 23rd, Santosh purchased goods from us. How tricky word it is you that. Santosh purchased goods from us. For us it is what? It is the sales. For Santosh it is the purchase. In all the problem it is in the same manner only. Sold goods to Mohan. For me it is the sales. And for Mohan it is the purchase. Next one is sold furniture costing rupees 20,000. That won't appear because that will go to the journal proper. At last you see that sold goods to Sunil rupees 10,000 at a discount of 10%. It means that the goods rate is 10,000 minus 10% discount means that it is sold for 9,000. That is 10,000 worth of goods and it's 10% it is 1,000 rupees. 10,000 minus 1,000 we get rupees 9,000. Yes, out of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 entries, only 3 will appear because 2 it is ignored. Now the very first one is Sold goods to Mohan Sold goods to Mohan on first date it is 1st February 22 and the column you see that under sales book date Outward invoice. What is this outward invoice? Whenever we provide bill during the time of purchase, I mean sale of the goods, that bill number what it is there that we will record for our reference. And it is sold to whom? It is sold to Mohan. The amount of goods it is 75,000. That is particular name of the person. Coming to second one, is sold goods to Vignesh for cash that won't appear and third one you see Santosh purchased goods from us it is 10,000 that it is purchased for Santosh for us it is the sales so now date is third 2 22 invoice number and it is Santosh the amount is 10,000 after Santosh sold furniture that won't appear and next one is 10th sold goods to Sunil 10th 10th February 2022 Mr. Sunil 10,000 minus 10 percent we get an amount of 9,000 that's is finished taking of all the sales we have to make a total of this for total sales 
total sales is equal 0, 0, 0, 9 plus 5 it is 4, 8 plus 1 it is the 9. 10, 14, 8, 9. 94,000 rupees is the total sales. Thank you very much for watching this problem.